Hey, what's going on? So this video, I'm going to be linking up with two YouTubers. You might know them. The first one is Monster Mike, and the second one is FL Bassmaster. We're going to be testing a little theory, all right? Are any fish eating iguanas when they're babies over here in South Florida? We tried looking up on Google. There's really no answer. So only one way to really find out. We got to test the theory ourselves. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. The iguanas in the bucket, guys. Go ahead, show them, Mike. They don't believe us. Guys are just lying. You know what? Wait a few minutes. We're going to go catch them. Oh, my oh, gosh. Something got saved. the lizard. Something got the lizard. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I, and I didn't even know, like, bass like iguanas. The slide, but the rock stuck me. Oh. Uh, Mike. Bro. Land this fish, bro. Oh. Oh. On a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! We got a we got a fish on a lizard, guys. Ooh. This is a beautiful peacock bass. Oh my god! Did you see how he pulled oh me? Oh my god! <laughs> guys, gonna pull you in the water. I, I didn't know we were gonna catch a fish free lining. Oh my! Gosh. A lizard, and we got a. Pe so the green iguana is native to South America, and so is the peacock bass. So it's kind of a coincidence, not really, that the peacock bass eats green iguanas over there and over here naturally. As you guys can see, Monster Mike and I was able to collect some data to prove the fact that yes guys, peacock bass are feeding on green iguanas. Just linked up. FL Bassmaster. Yo! We're gonna see. Supposedly there's no known predators, but I honestly think that a snakehead <laughs> is gonna destroy them. Dude, that's a good theory, man, because from what I heard of snakeheads, is they'll basically attack anything that swims. Yeah. Fish, frogs, they even eat little ducks. So if they're eating all these things, it's a good chance that they might even eat a little iguana. To let you guys know, we weren't actually hooking these iguanas, but instead we made a harness with rubber bands. So you put the rubber band around the iguana, then you put the hook in between the rubber band and the iguana. So the iguana's not hooked, he's free swimming. And as you guys can see, FL Bassmaster right here caught a pretty decent sized largemouth bass on the iguana. So that's a pretty good sign to show that some of the native species over here are feeding on them. But then wait, there's more. We're gonna release the fish and then we're gonna show you guys the final predator that feeds on these iguanas in the canal system. He's ready, he's ready to go back in the I water. I guess there for is natural fish. predators. Yes. So now we're gonna release this nice oh my two, two pound bass, maybe three pounds. Wow. Let's let him go. Bro, I thought it was a snake him coming up. Damn. There you go, buddy. Whoa. Oh, he's on? He's on. He's on. Oh, he's got a big one in the tray. Feast your eyes on South Florida's top predator that lurks the canal system. Yes, if you guessed the bullseye snakehead, you are correct. This species first appeared in South Florida in the 2000s, and now these populations are really strong, about as strong as peacock bass. FWC first required you to kill them on the spot. Now you are allowed to release them in the same body of water that you caught them in. However, possessing one of these fish live can be a hefty fine if caught. I highly recommend you don't do that. But if you do want to eat one, they make excellent table fare. And right here, you guys seen it for yourself. He is feeding on the invasive green iguana. Oh Look at that. Barely hooked. Oh. Oh, oh, there it goes. He cut my finger a bit. But that's snakehead fishing. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful snakehead. Little experiment is all for education. Like I said, the FWC and other biologists state 
that iguanas have no natural predators is to gather data and to see if anything actually feeds on iguanas. Now, so far we've caught quite a bit of fish on real iguanas and artificial ones. So with this data that we gathered, it's safe to say that in fact, iguanas do have natural predators. This video was filmed quite a while ago, so I hope nobody holds a grudge, unsubscribes, or hates my guts for doing this video, but this was all for the name of science. The current population in South Florida, in my opinion, is roughly 10 million. So they're breeding twice a year. We're trying to gather as much research as we can as possible so we have some kind of data. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new.